do anything for my wife. She's the sexiest woman alive. Because girls like guys that cook and do stuff. Okay, so today we're gonna make some barbecue chicken on the grill and some potato salad. So you've already peeled the potatoes. Cubed them, I boiled them, I rinsed them, they're cooling down now. I boiled five pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. So I've got uh, about three quarters of a cup of mayo, two to three tablespoons of yellow mustard, and some black pepper, about three stalks of celery chopped finely, and one medium yellow onion chopped finely. Here's uh, the uh, sweet relish. Dill. I like dill relish. It gives it a little, little bit of zing. Okay. <clears throat> so this is our salad dressing. I'll put a little onion powder in there for a little extra flavor. Now all I need is um, three hard-boiled eggs sliced. There are the boiled potatoes. They're cut a little bit large. I normally don't cut the cubed potatoes that large. For whatever reason, this time I cut them a little larger. Put the salad dressing on it. Five pounds of potatoes, believe it or not. A little more mayo. Give it just a little more creaminess. Smells pretty good. All right, we'll put our hard boiled eggs in here. Okay, so we have the hard boiled eggs in there now. We'll give it the last little toss. And that's pretty much it for the potato salad. I'm gonna put a lid on it, put it in the fridge, and uh, let the flavors meld together a little bit. One last thing. Don't wanna forget the paprika. I give it a little color. And this is a Hungarian paprika, so it's got more flavor to it. And that's it. Let's go ahead and put it in the fridge. We'll get the chicken on the grill. We've got about 15 chicken drumsticks here and uh, I'm just going to season them up. So basically I just put a little onion powder on them. A little black pepper again. All right. And then some of this Sazon seasoning here. You may or may not like this particular seasoning and it does contain MSG. What's MSG? Monosodium glutamate. Is that bad? It's a flavor enhancer. Some people say it causes all kinds of health problems, headaches and all kinds of other things. Uh -oh. So, you can leave it out if you want, but I like headaches, so. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, rub all of that in. That's pretty much it for the seasoning. I don't use any garlic on the chicken. Not, not in this particular recipe, and I think the Sazon seasoning has a little bit of garlic in it anyway. This smells pretty good. Seasoned up pretty good. Let's let it sit there for a few minutes and absorb some of that flavor. We'll go ahead and get the grill fired up, and uh, I'm going to cook these on indirect heat until they're done, and then when they're done, I'm going to go ahead and put them over direct heat and get the... Uh, barbecue sauce uh, caramelized a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, <clears throat> get a full chimney of charcoal started. Oh, I smelled it. It smells nasty. Sulfur. Mm. We're waiting for the charcoal to ash over. So take okay. a shot of the uh, charcoal. It's kind of black there. In about 20 minutes or 30 minutes, we'll be ready to start putting the chicken on. Put it on here so it can cook. Oh. Hi, Charlie Rhodes. Let's put the nice big pieces closer to the fire. I've had this before and it's really tasty. It's really good, right, Daddy? I'm glad you like it. It's delicious. Delicious. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cover the, the top of this and we'll let it cook. Alright. Now we're going to throw a little bit of wood chips here on the fire and get a little smoke going. Yep. Just get it to 
give it a little bit of applewood flavor. It's one of my favorite woods to smoke with. All right, there goes the smoke. So let's go ahead and uh, close the top. I'm going to get smoked up here a minute. See, I've got the top bent wide open. The He's bottom bent is smoke uh, about half closed. And we got some applewood smoke going on that chicken now. We're going to we're cooking it in directly on the grill on some charcoal. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, as soon as I get it nice and done, I'm gonna sear it for direct heat over the coals, and then I'm gonna go ahead and paint on the uh, barbecue sauce, and we'll let that caramelize for a minute. It should be really good. And hard work. Not really. This is leisure. This is work for leisure suit Larry. Wait. One question, <laughs> who's laser? Is your suit Larry? Yes. He's the guy that does nothing but sit around drinking beer all the time. Huh. In his leisure suit, his 1970s um, jumpsuit, huh. polyester. Huh. Yeah. I never heard of him. He just hangs out and does nothing. But he's a dying breed now. Because <laughs> girls like guys that cook and do stuff. <laughs> I got a 157 in that one. 157. 161, so. Um, All right, let's get done. We're getting done here. Uh huh. So, yeah. Smells really awesome. So you're like applewood smoke, chicken mm. legs. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce on here in a minute. So, All right, this is the applewood smoke chicken legs. This is going to be delicious. I want to make sure they're done all the way down to the bone. Turn all of these over. Move some of the thicker pieces to the front, closer to the coals. The smaller pieces to the back. Put the lid back on, let them cook for a little while longer. Then we'll put some barbecue sauce on them and we'll put them over the coals. All right, Priscilla? All right. What do you think? I think it's... Looking good, huh? Mm-hmm. Look at that! Oh my gosh, that looks so good. All right, so I put it for direct heat over the coals. All right, so let's uh, turn it over and let's get the barbecue sauce caramelized on there. Okay, and we'll paint the other side. You're really in your zone with this, aren't you? You know I like the barbecue. Mm-hmm. This isn't barbecue, and this is just grilling. Anyway. Well, what's the difference? The really difference is barbecuing is slow cooking. When you're barbecuing, no, we call barbecue anything that you throw on a grill and put barbecue sauce on. Yeah, but I think that's incorrect. Is I, it? I guess barbecuing is like when you're really cooking meat at a low temperature and for a long, a long period of time. Low temperatures being around, you know, 225, 250. See, this is how I like it. I like my wife here. You like what? I like it when my wife's here. <laughs> I need to be here every time I barbecue. I need to be here? Right by your side? Yeah. You sound like Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> That's where Charlie gets it. This is my zone, baby. You invited me. Of course I invited you, because I love you. Oh, oh get boy, you that looks out. so good. For when I just go to sleep. Shh, the neighbors. <laughs> the neighbors could probably hear you. Randy probably thinks you're disgusting now. I don't care what he thinks. <laughs> he knows I'm the man. Mm. I want to get this nice and charred. So I want, I want the, uh, that looks the tomatoes really good. and the, the, um, the sugars to like get nice and caramelized. This is awesome. And delicious. It's not quite hard enough. It's not as hard as I'd like it to be. I don't like it too hot, otherwise it gets mm -hmm. black right away. But I want it to kind of like sear that barbecue sauce into it. Mm -hmm. This is a sweet Kansas City style barbecue sauce. Is it? Um, yeah. You know sweet baby raisins. Oh, okay. Kansas City style. I was getting ready to say, you changing up on me? <laughs> yeah. You can't you go changing up on style? me. No, this that's my favorite uh, barbecue sauce. The you know, sweet you like baby Kansas, rays. Kansas City style. Yeah. We're not from Kansas. But I so. never called it Kansas City style. I just call it well, sweet baby like, rays. So when you said the Kansas part, it kind of threw me. That's the uh, area that the 
that type of sauce is used in Kansas okay. City. Different areas to use different kinds of sauces. <gasps> oh no, did you need that? You knocked my... Did you need that? Girl? I'm sorry. Barbecue fanatic are you? <laughs> I never said I was a barbecue fanatic. That's you. <laughs> Alright, we're about to eat here. I guess I can fire it up and throw some dogs off. This chicken won't go very far. Yeah, it's not a lot of pieces you know, for our family size. It's like 15 pieces of chicken. Mm -hmm. So let me get um, some more charcoal going here. Now that you found the, the lighter, our teenage daughter's been grilling in her bedroom. <laughs> She's not grilling in her bedroom. Lighting candles. You don't have to close this, Sam? Close what? The grill. You don't have to close it? No, now I'm trying to uh, set the barbecue sauce on there. I thought you said it was supposed to rain today. Well, it was, rain was forecast for today. Yeah, we've got to get this uh, fence cleaned the here. Are forecast for the next 10 days. Really? Yeah. Hmm, we didn't get any rain today at all. I know. Well, I'll bet you somebody in this area got rain because yeah you see those black clouds up there and check it out this is what we're looking for here what that we caramelized look okay on the uh sauce you don't want it black but you want it you want it to be uh a little bit kind of caramelized mm -hmm. all right but the only drawback is it makes a mess in my grill mm. And I have to clean my grill. That's why I don't like using barbecue sauce directly on the grill. But this is what my wife likes, so this is what I do. <laughs> you know you like this more than me. <laughs> I'll do anything for my wife, though. Well, thank you. She's the sexiest woman alive, so absolutely <laughs> sexy and hot. And I mean that <laughs> with all sincerity. Oh. That's so sweet. So daddy's making the hot dogs. Hot dogs are almost done already. Oh wow, well, they are. Ask mommy if she'll bring that pan out here so I can put the dogs on it. Okay. It is time to serve dinner. Mm-hmm. Yep. You guys ready to eat? Uh, definitely. My darling husband just made a plate for me. Mmm. That looks delicious. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. Mmm. That's delicious. Let's taste the chicken now. Mmm. That's delicious.